your understanding becomes clouded not available for you and that is why we generally say that such and such a man with all that knowledge he did it you can't believe his knowledge was not available for him for the time being it was darkened out or veiled out this subjective disturbance explosive expressions of desires when you rise his own knowledge he forgets and he compromises and acts always why the enemy number 1 is this desire and when desire rises in your bosom whatever might have been your knowledge whatever might have been the name and culture that you have maintained so long in the community you compromise this that which covers your wisdom that which comes into your own subjective bosom and wails your own will your own understanding and to make you compromise and act contrary to your own understanding of the nature of the karma desire or lust and it is like a forest fire probably it burns from one tree to another the more it burns the more it goes on in this in the direction of the wind all that we can do is cut down the tree and leave some space and hope that that breeze will not come in that direction it has to end by itself there is no other way thus it burns and burns from one desire to another and it is unsatiable is its hunger this desire the great lotus has three headquarters sense organs the body mana mind buddhi intellect through the sense organs or through the mind or through your feelings or your intellect thinking through these equipments confuses the individuality therefore this is the dangerous looter in your own bosom arjuna the outer enemies we can always win but what about your subjective enemy in the beginning you try to control the sense organs don't try with the intellectual thoughts or intellectual ideas or mental thoughts they are too powerful at this moment start ferreting out this enemy first control the sense organs destroy kill him sense organs by themselves cannot be controlled unless the mind lifts itself into a greater vision in great enthusiasm if you if others loot your enter your house and loot things you can always work harder and replace it in another 3 years time or 2 years time there is nothing wrong this can be made again because i made it and therefore i can again make it but here the looting comes the most precious wealth in us our own stock of understanding all the understanding that you have gained through jnana and vijnana 